We have solved some problem based on D Broglie uh, wavelength that is the lambda is equal to h by mb. So uh, today we have, I have collected some problem. Let us see some one problem. Our first problem a moving electron has kinetic energy equal to 5 into 10 power minus 25 joule. So derive its D Broglie wavelength. So kinetic energy is given here. So we have to derive the D Broglie wavelength. So it is again. D Broglie wavelength is equal to lambda by lambda equal to h by mv. So in terms of kinetic energy, we can write lambda equal to h upon m into u. So in terms of kinetic energy, I can write lambda is equal to so this will be your root under 2 into kinetic energy into so this is the final derivation. So we'll put directly over value 6.625 into 10 to the power minus 34 divided by square root of 2 into a kinetic energy is given here 5 into 10 power minus 25 5 into 10 power 25 and mass of the electron so mass of the electron is 9.1 into 10 power minus 31 so on solving so here we will get equations 6.94 into 10 to the power minus 7 meter so this is our lambda now for second equations two particles a and b are in motions in the lambda associated with the particle a is 5 minus 8 meter calculate the wavelength of the particle b if its momentum is half of a so very simple lambda is equal to h by p a a second lambda b is equal to h upon pb okay so we can write here lambda a by lambda b so as you can see so this will be your pb by p a which is nothing which is given half so lambda b will be equal to 5 into 10 power minus 8 into 2 so lambda we go this side so lambda a we know that so this is a and 2 multiplied so here we will get answers so 5 root to 10, so this will be 10 plus 7 meters. So this is our answers. So an electron beam is accelerated by a potential 10 power 4 volt. So calculate its D Broglie wavelength under the accelerated potential. So mass of the electron is given. So potential they have given and we have to calculate the D Broglie wavelength. So again potential is converted into kinetic energy E into V. So we can write here potential energy that is E P we can write here electron into volt. Okay. So electron means E we know charge of E we know that volt we have to find out. So again we can write lambda is equal to <coughs> 2 into E K into M. Okay. So here E K into M. So we can write so E K uh, already we know this is electron into volt. This we can put here a value. So lambda is equal to uh, so E k will be how much? E k will be 10 power 4 electron volt. So again we can write 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 joule. Okay. So this can, we can put value over here 6.626 into 10 power minus. So this is 34 divided by square root of 2 into already we know that this value. So we can put here 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 and mass we know that that is 9.1 into 10 power minus 31 so on solving we will get answer here 1.23 into 10 power minus 11 meter so this is our answer so this is the wavelength so when the electron is accelerated by 10 to the power 4 volt so now we see uh, how fast is the electron? How fast is the electron moving if it has wavelength equal to the distance is travel? Uh, if wavelength is equal to the distance is travels in one second. So again, we can write here lambda is equal to h by m into u, and uh, lambda is u that is given here. Lambda u that is given here. So we can write here uh, u square is equal to h by m. Okay, why? Because lambda is u, u, so we can put here u, so it will be u square by h by m. So again, uh, u is equal to square root of h upon m. So again, if you solve it here, 6.62 uh, 
of 5 into 10 power minus 34 uh, mass of the m is given here that is 9.1 into 10 power minus 31 so if we solve it so here we get 2.698 into 10 power minus 2 meter per second this is our basically answer now fine so next is kinetic energy of the electron is given here that is 6.20 per minus 15 joule so calculate the frequency of its matter wave so we have calculated the frequency kinetic energy they have given so again frequency we know that it is equal to uh, u by lambda okay so in terms of kinetic energy we can write this again we can write here u into uh, so lambda we can write here lambda is equal to h by mv so here mu squared by h this we can write here so lambda is equal to m u square by h this we know that so again you multiply 2 by 2 so 2 by 2 so half m u square will be this much so it becomes this is the kinetic energy okay so this will be your 2 into kinetic energy by h okay so now we can put the value 2 into kinetic energy is given here how much 6.2 into 10 to the power minus 15 joule and divide by so Planck constant we know that 6.6 to 6 into 10 power minus 34 so if we solve it so we can get here 1.87 into 10 power 19 per second because we are calculating frequency this is the frequency of metal wave okay so we got this answer so now next question is our this much so estimate the wavelength of electron that have been accelerated estimate the wavelength of electron that have been estimated from a rest through a potential difference of 40 kilojoules so this is the asking from the rest and we have to find the wavelength so from rest is the accelerator so potential 40 so again same is given so lambda is equal to h upon p or we can write here lambda is equal to root under uh, so m into electron volt so this is the given m into electron volt so 2 me sorry 2 me into electron volt this is 2 me into electron volt put the value 6.625 into 10 power minus 34 and again divide by 2 electron we know that uh, that is uh, 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 and mass we know that 9 point so it is 9.1 into power minus 31 and we need to find volt so volt is given here 40 so 40 means 4 into into 10 power 3 so okay so on solving so here we can solve it 6.1 into 10 to the power minus 12 meter so this is our basically answer now 7 determine the wavelength of the electron having kinetic energy of this much Arch 1.6 into 10 minus 6 arch. So this is the kinetic energy and mass of the electron is given here. How to find out? So again we can write here. So d degree wavelength of electron have kinetic energy. So kinetic is given. Well, we can find out. So we can write here u equal to root 2 and 2 into kinetic energy divided by m. Okay. If you solve like this one, half m b square. We know that actually this comes from what? E k equal to half m u square so you take it so if you you take outside this becomes 2 into a m square root of uh, 2 into k by m so m is the mass of the electron if you solve it you will get here so square root of 2 into 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 6 and divide by 9.1 into 10 to the power minus minus 28 so if you solve it you will get here 5.927 into 10 to the power 10 centimeter per second but you can see here uh, this is more than more than this value is more than speed of light so we are calculating wrong value so this is wrong this is wrong so what is correct so correct is this one you can see here uh, this is the electron 40 electron volt so this is the electron electron volt so uh, so this is a wrong uh, 5.9 huh? so this is wrong so we have to take the correct value so actually electron is moving so here we will apply 
uh, when electron moves, so what happens? The energy also conserved. So some of the energy uh, from the rest is converted into during is uh, kind is this one some in kinetic energy. So uh, energy of the that particle that is electron during the motions and some energy converted to kinetic will be is equal to the kinetic energy of the uh, particles. So how is there? So first you write the applying the conservation of energy conservation of energy conservation of energy conservation energy means energy electron start from the rest and started it gets some motion so due to the sub motion some energy is lost so energy of rest that is is equal to mc square and plus kinetic energy ek this is equal to m dot c square okay so this is the we are applying the theory of Einstein equations. Okay, so this is the rest moving mass of the particle. Okay, this is the rest mass of the particle, and some energy is converted into kinetic energy. So this plus this energy is equal to this energy. So this is the formula. So this you can write. This is the rest mass of electron. This is the moving mass of electron. Okay, as kinetic energy. So again, if you apply it, so here we will get m dash. So mass of the electron is 9.1 into 10 to the power minus 31 and C we know that that is 3 into 10 power uh, 8 meter per second okay and again we know that the kinetic energy of the electron is 7 hertz, hertz. so it will be 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 6 if you are writing 6 then you have to put here 10 and here you have to put here 28 so because this is in hertz so now here we have put it 3 into 10 power 10 whole square so on solving we will get here 26.88 into 10 to power minus 28 grams so this is the actual mass of answer so here we will can use the put of c so this is here we can we cannot use the c here we can use the c so in this way we will get the m now our next target is what is the kinetic energy of the electron okay so what is the this one wavelength of the electron we got the m dash m dash so now m dash is equal to again uh, mass of the electron so divide by 1 minus u by c square so we know that m dash so we can write here 1 minus this implies that uh, 1 minus u square by c square is equal to mass of the electron by mass of the uh, electron during motion so you make it a square so on solving 9.1 into 10 per minus 28 whole square and divide by 2.26.88 into 10 per minus 28 so this will be a squaring so on a squaring you will get 0 0.1149 so this is the ratio of this mass so we can see here so u by c whole square okay this is equal to 1 minus 0 0.1149 Okay, so on solving square root of u by c, so we will get here 0 0.9407. Okay, so this you get it, and u by c is there, so you can write here c will be 0 0.9407 into 3 into 10 to the power so 10, 10 to the power 10. So here you will get answers 2.822 into 10 power 10 centimeter per second. So this is the less than light. So this is less than light so this velocity can be used for calculating the wavelength of the electron so again we know that wavelength of electron is lambda is equal to h upon m into u so h 6.625 into 10 to the power 27 arch and mass we know that 26.88 into already we have calculated 10 to the power minus 28 we have calculated here so you can see this mass this, this mass we can write here okay so this is the mass and u we know that you calculate from here so this will be 2.822 into 10 power 10 okay so on solving you will get here 8.7 into 10 power minus 11 centimeter or we can say uh, 0 0.0087 and stop so this is our answer so now next is An electron 
in a hydrogen like atom is a, is in the excited state okay it has total kinetic energy minus 3.4 electron total is this much so calculate the kinetic energy of electron and deep broadly wavelength of the electron so very simple it is here so we can see total energy is equal to minus ek kinetic energy so minus into minus 3.4 already given electron was so this will be your positive 3.4 electron volt. so kinetic energy of the electron is 3.4 electron volt now d broadly wavelength so lambda we know that lambda is equal to h by mu or we can convert into or we know that ek first equation half mu square so from e so we can put value here this ek is this much so we can put value over here so here we will get kinetic energy equal to half m into h by lambda m whole square so on solving half h square by lambda square by m so this is our equations now we can put directly equations so 1 by 4 so 6 by 6 into 10 to the power minus 34 whole square and divide by 9.1 into 10 power minus 31 whole square into lambda square okay and the kinetic energy is uh, given like a 3.4 electron volt okay so here we can write here 3.4 electron volt is 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 so this is equal to this much half 6.6 .6 into 10 power minus 34 whole square divided by 9.1 into 10 power minus 31 whole square into lambda square so here we will get lambda square to 0. 438 into 10 power minus 18 angstrom okay so this is the lambda square this one so lambda will be how much so on squaring this one 6.618 into 10 power minus 10 meter so this is the calculation you can calculate by yourself so calculate the accelerating potential that must be imparted to a proton beam uh, to give it an effective wavelength of 0 0.05 nanometer so mass of the proton is given so we have to find the potential of the accelerative potential of the electron okay wavelength is given here so we can see uh, u equal to h by m into lambda this is from the broglie wavelength okay a second u is equal to 2 into electron volt by m so we know this equation we know this equation okay so equation 1 equation 2 so if you equate it if you equate it so this is equal to h by m into lambda is equal to square root of 2 into electron volt by m so we can put directly value so h is equal to 6 to 5 into 10 to the power minus 34 and divide by so this divided by how much we will get mass of the electron mass of the proton and lambda is how much 0 0.00 5 into 10 to the power minus 8 okay and this is give equal to square root of 2 into 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 okay and into v and divide by mass of the proton is 1.6 into 6 7 into 10 to the power uh, minus 27 okay so here this is given also here so on solving if you solve it so here we, we will get v directly 32.85 Volt. okay because we know the mass of the proton and we know this we know this this is same only so directly we can solve this value that I am not going to solve it an electron uh, beam can undergo diffraction by crystals through what potential should a beam of electrons be accelerated so that the wavelength become equal to 1.54 electrons so very simple so what uh, potential should be given to electrons so potential means the last thing again we have to find half mu square is equal to electron volt this is the one equation and lambda is equal to h by m into u this is the second equation okay so lambda is given electron volt is given okay so from this and this we can again derive so volt is equal to half into h square m into lambda square into e so already we know this equation this is the volt okay so they are asking potential again you put this value so half equal to 6.625 into 10 power minus 34 whole square and divide by 9.1 into 10 power minus 31 and lambda square lambda is given 1.4 into 10 power minus 10 whole square and electron is 1.6 into 10 power minus 90 so this is big question if you solve it you will get here 6.3 volt so this is the potential which electron can be 
uh, accelerated uh, so the affection will be possible so this is the answer